Hello, lady. Right now is July 14, 7:56 p.m. Um, I'm gonna do the review what I did uh, today. Um, yesterday morning, I just go ahead and close out the uh, the swing tray I have for the uh, Twitter and um, what else? What else I got? The work option that expire uh, this Friday and um, luckily I just closed it out and not too bad I was profitable and I because I got stuff need to do so um, I closed it out and walk away and this morning um, I play on Tesla um, I set it up and um, and just leave it there um, so what I did is once I what did I do? I set it up 144. Once I see this candle, and I really like that 144.77, I basically play on this candle. And the loss is one one four two seven. Come on. So as you can see, this a little bit lower than this candle, and it got triggered. And at the same time, I I have another thing open. It's not get. Um, and I saw the nugget is double bottom. Um. So I set it up basically I set it up playing um what did I play? Uh I set it up at eighty one seventy two I think it's three minutes no um not yet I play on breakout uh because it is double bottom and I want to see if when higher in this this candle higher uh, pre-market yeah pre-market high and then uh, and and play on breakout and I saw also see the double bottom right there um, so I set it up that up at 81.72 by 7880 so I set it up and before that I have a JP Morgan um, in the room with the um, the moderator um, I was play with this candle uh, let me see 90 9880 is where I have hold on one second. 9880. Hmm. Three minutes. Yeah. I was in the pre market. Um I I saw this candle. I say, well, I'm gonna um, set it up for this candle and then when it form kind of a W shape down there I set it up 98.80 and the loss is 9670 96, yeah so the the low of the day um, I didn't got trigger until because I want to see this W form and um, break out and come back down. So I don't know what time I got trigger in, but it, anyway, so I got a JP Morgan as my first trade. So I already in that that um, trade, and then Tesla got trigger in, and then few minutes later, uh, and UGT got trigger in. So at that time, it's too many. Um, trade in session so guess what I did I close 
<laughs> I close one because I don't want too too many risk on the table, and I close the Tesla. Uh, for the profit, um, it's it's got a little profit, so I close it out and um, I basically close out the wrong one. Uh, I close out the runner, um, but anyway, so I keep the J P Morgan open. I keep the J P Morgan open and um, and it going sideways. And after a while, it's not doing anything. Um, so. I, I close break even on this one. Um, I think once it's going down, start coming down here. Yeah, that's when I say, "Wow, well, that's long enough. It's not going anywhere." And the moderator was saying that this is they they gonna cancel the day trade um, um, entry. So they cancel the trade. So I say, "Well, okay, let me let me get out too." Um, so I close. This out JP Morgan for break, break even. I get out uh, get out at around ninety eight eighty, so it's the same price as what I bought it. And um, and and Tesla, even though even though I get out early, um, I still it still allow me to get point three nine R. On this one, um, I sold it at um, 140, uh, 1485, 1485. So, this candle, I, I wasn't in there long. Um, that's a bummer. Anyway, so that's that. Uh, knock it. I hold I held through the retrace but um, I didn't I didn't profit on that like this um, I didn't hold it long enough um, I have a t first target is 8380 and you hit 8380 and uh, and so as you can see is went through about two hours of nothing and so when when um and then i go out to do run in the air and i leave the the open and move i move the stop but um so two hours but nothing and when i come home and he's still doing nothing so um i get up some of the pos position again at 83 30 so around this area and leave rest of it which is like a qu rest of the qu quarter position at 84.50 and right here this triggered me it, it hit my rest of the target and I get out and this one on uh, this position um, allow me to earn 0.42 or and the the last one I play was PayPal. Um, this one I didn't hold long enough. Well, it's on sideways until I sell it. So 169, 169, 21. It's when I get in, which is 110. Now, that's what I get out. Uh, yep, I get out. I was playing on uh, the retrace. I saw this, and it break it break out, and I play on the retest, and it's kind of in and out, in and out, in and out, and I wasn't around in the computer around here. So, I have a 169.21 and I think my stop was too big, uh, 164.50, that's my stop. So, um, 
anyway. Mm, so when it goes down the sideway, by the time I come back, uh, I saw. Um, I saw most of I saw all of them around 16932 16932 So as soon as I sell as you can see that it take off but oh well around 110 yep my my, my uh, notes say 110 um, because it's going sideways for about two hours so I basically just sell it it's not doing anything but like like you see as soon as I sell it it go up but this one is really really small wing point zero seven five R so and I also play on the option on the PayPal um, I put a put because of this area and I think I get in too late too late um, because I was looking at daily and whole day is not whole day in the morning it was sell out and this is a really bullish candle and I was telling I saw that and I said once it break out here it retest I will get in and it's not up it's not that much of profit in there and I actually end up to be losing that one um, right um, that one I lost about 0. 0.4 R so today's uh, trade I um, or total three or four trade um, allowed me to get positive today 0. 0.45 R so not too bad not too bad um, okay so that's it for today and hope to hear from you guys soon